Welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to merge multiple tables from different Excel files using Power Query. So this is just one of the other tables that I have, and I want to merge all of these tables into one Excel file. Here is my documents folder here, which contains four Excel files, of which these three are the reports which will be merging, okay? So as you can see, this is the East file that I have opened up. If I open up the West file, for example, it's the same format. It's a table format, um, and then it contains the West data, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to merge all this data using Power Query, okay? So I have my blank Excel file open, and I have my um, folder right here from which I, I will be uh, pulling the data tables. But again, there's only certain tables from this data, from this folder, which I'll be pulling into Power Query. So we're going to be filtering something in the process as well. So I'm going to first of all go into Data and into Get Data from File and from Folder. Now I'm going to locate that folder um, from which I want to pull the data. It's called Business Info. And as you can see, it says no items match your search. The reason they're not showing in Excel is because remember we went into get data and from folder so it's only going to show me folders so once this folder is open we're going to click on open and from there we can see the files within the folder so these are the four files that were within the folder and remember the file that's not a sales report we don't want to add that file into our final report before we go into load or combine we're not ready to do that yet we're going to go into transform data and that's going to open up our Power Query editor. And once this is open, what we'll do is we want to filter the data such that this cost analysis file is not included. So what's common between all the files that I want in my final table? Well, they all have the name sales report within them, right? They all have the name report within them. What I'll do is I will filter this so that we can remove the non-pertinent uh, Excel files. So I will click the drop down arrow here and into text filters and contains. And we only want to keep the, the files that contain the name report within them. So I'm gonna select, just write down report over here and click on okay. And the table is empty. And the reason the table is empty is because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on the step here, remove that step. It's because we didn't add the capital R to the report. So that's why it's important that it's case sensitive as well. So capital R report contains report, click on OK. And we can see the three reports um, that we're gonna be uh, combining together and creating a pivot table from. And we can see all the other uh, information as well, such as the folder path, date modified, all of that. Um, but for our purposes, we're not too interested in that. Once we've done that, now we're ready to combine these tables so we can further process them. So I'm going to click on these two arrows over here, Combine Files, and I'll wait for it to do its work. It's going to evaluate the query. And now this table pops up and it's asking me for a sample file. Well, in our case, as I said, all three of our files are formatted the same way. They're in a tabular table format. So it doesn't matter which file I use as a sample file. I'm going to go with the East file um, and I'm going to select table one within the East file. So this is how one of the tables looks like. This is just for the East file. Remember, we have two more files and I'll go ahead and click on OK. And now I'm able to return this information. So 100 rows. And the reason I know it's 100 rows is because when I was making these sample files, I had 100 rows combined within all three files. So that satisfies me that all the data has been loaded up. And now I want to do some, uh, some formatting before I actually take it out. And the first thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be uh, changing the source name so that it just shows me East, West, or HQ. I don't want to see sales report underscore dot XLSX. I don't want to see that information. So I'm going to keep our source name selected over here. Um, and in fact, I can even change that to a uh, region. Okay. And this is going to make our pivot easier when we do the pivot tables. It's going to make it more clear for us. And I'll go into transform, extract, and text. Um, 
let's do text before delimiter okay so text before delimiter so in this case east is the text before the dot we want to remove the dot xlsx dot period and we'll click on ok and as you can see the xlsx is gone now we also want to remove sales report underscore so once again extract and this time text after delimiter and our delimiter is the underscore here so we're going to just write down underscore here as well and we'll click OK once again. And now we can just see the data summarized East, West and HQ. And now we are officially ready to load the data into our pivot table. OK, so we'll go into home, close and load and close and load two because I don't want to close and load it just yet. I want to make a specific pivot table report and we can do it actually right over here. Um, click on OK. We've merged all three tables from the given folder and we're finally ready to make our pivot table okay so what i'll do is i want to select our region as a filter sales amount as the values and the item as the rows okay so now we get a clear picture of our region we can select for example the uh, headquarters region click on okay we can see all the products within that region all the sales uh, values as well now one downside is that I will have to manually go ahead and put these sales amounts in dollar format as unfortunately Power Query didn't allow me to put things in dollar format and we have consolidated these three Excel files and created a nice pivot table from them using a couple steps using Power Query. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.